Hello everyone, welcome back to another Descenders video, and this is just going to be week two of whatever the the Grand Tour, you know the one. Uh, the Power Up Audio Amateurs. Get 5,000 rep in a single combo at the Mega Ramp. Okay, so I'm not sure if this has to be done in career mode, but it might have to be. I'm not particularly sure, but it's rather simple. Um, right, this is with no perks, so if it doesn't work, it is from doing it through free ride it is probably just for the fact that you were meant to do it in career mode i did adjust a bit too much there this is without fakie balance there is no perks i'm just literally making sure he goes dead straight and then doing a flip or something that's not good that's not good that was fucking terrible Absolutely terrible. Yeah, the best way to do it is just to do this But you've got to make sure that you actually make it and doing it without the perk makes it very temperamental whether if you're gonna be upright or not That's probably the best way is do a 540 into it If you can sometimes I don't know <clears throat> You have to do this to get it to unlock anyway to get 5k to get it to unlock in the career in the free ride section but you can I, you probably can do it forwards it's just gonna be a lot harder yeah you can definitely do it forwards yeah there you go 5k it's pretty simple you just have to do it and it can take a lot longer than you think but you know it is possible and um, if it doesn't work try it in career mode and that's probably the best way to do it. Don't enter the seed and try it. Definitely do it through career mode. Because that's how I did it and it worked. So I don't... I believe that they're trying to get you to play the career. So you might have to do it through the career mode. And don't use the seed. Because then it might actually activate. If you're having um, any issues. Right, next up is... Bike out. Simple as anything. Just finish bike out. Yeah, legit. Just do bike out. Um, if you're struggling, there is a skip. If you want to do it in less time, let's just get there now. I, I don't like back out whatsoever. It is just tedious gameplay and it's rather annoying. I get it's, it's fun the first time around and then it just gets boring. Definitely set markers rather than do this because uh, then you at least say stay alive, especially if you're struggling. Don't use the checkpoints, just use a marker. It's so much easier. Right, what you want to do here, it skips a big section of the track, is hop onto this one, set a marker, and just drop down onto here. If you do it right, you should be fine. Yeah, drop down onto here, and literally hop here. It, you'll skip so much of the track, it makes it so much faster. And then obviously you just head to the finish line, I could probably try and do it. I don't really play bike out a lot, just because I don't find it that fun. Because it is just like hella tedious gameplay i just did the same thing twice but yeah you know how it finishes i can't be asked to do this it just takes too long i did it on stream just know that you have to finish back out you have to actually get to the end it's not just do it and then it'll count next up is change your bike type that's super duper easy if you can't do this you are not sponsored and you're not sponsored because you haven't played the career whatsoever the people that aren't sponsored to this date is people that literally just ride bike parks, wear code gear, and do nothing else. Um, you can tell you wear code gear. It's it, it just screams unexperienced. I know that that's like, oh, I, I use the code gear because I'm just trying to enjoy the game and don't hate me for it. I mean, you're wearing like a Sam Table shirt and you're wearing a cow outfit. Like, you haven't played this game whatsoever apart from ride Whiplash on Stoker. And I can tell that's what you've done because of what you wear it's just normal like people if you wore just like basic ass clothes or the full white outfit that's what it is you need to be sponsored to be able to change your bike type and to do that you press x or what is it on the keyboard v on the keyboard and then you'll get it but that is how it works you need to be sponsored to be able to do this if you're not sponsored you can't change your bike types because you don't have the other bikes Next up is the daily challenge. This is very simple. Just go ride and then daily challenge. I won't do it because, you know, you have to actually do the whole thing. Um, but what you can do is just play the daily challenge and then bail fully. And then, I mean, if you actually try, you can get on this leaderboard that's here uh, for today. So, who's at the top today? 
Epoch. This guy is, or girl, I don't know who's playing it. But yeah, this person has um, you got the most rep out of all these people in the run today. But yeah, that's how that works. That's also how you get on this leaderboard, and it does reset every day. So the more rep you get, the higher you'll be on that leaderboard every time you do the daily challenge. Create a custom level in free ride mode. This is super simple. You can either do it, uh, the best way to do it is just do a custom track. Select where you want to go, could be literally any of these. Oh, that's funny because I haven't done, because <laughs> I haven't, because well, for some reason it reset. I used to have all of these, the shortcuts unlocked and because I only ever play desert and don't play anything else, I don't have the rest of the maps unlocked. But yeah, you can literally just put the steepness and curves up and whatever and then build a crew and then just literally build track with these settings and then all you have to do from here is just finish it let's just get to the finish you don't have to uh oh wow i forgot how hard the volcano is to ride because it's so like unpredictable um yeah you don't have to do anything special it is genuinely just do this if you really want to just make it completely flat and have no curves and then make it to the end if that's what you're up for but if you just want to try something new or different uh, you can do it this way. I can only play the volcano because I've got him here legitimately. Um, I haven't got to what did you call it? What's it called? The ridges or whatever. I need to do that next. Um, that's one of the tasks in the later on thing, which I need to do at some point. But like nose manual control going down here is really fun because you're just sitting on your front wheel. I don't know. It's something that I like to do. But yeah, you just got to get to the finish. Simple stuff. Done. And then I accidentally started again. But yeah, that's how that one works. Next up is get 25k rep. That is genuinely as simple as it sounds. Uh, most of you probably have that done by now. If you've gone for anything near to trying to get a luck spike, you would have had this done by now. Very easy. Set a session marker. I'll show you how to do it with the controller cam. So it is literally hold the brake down and press in the left stick. That's all you have to do. And then it makes you reset wherever you are, you know? So if you, wait, let me actually tab back into the game. If you go here and then set a session marker, and then if I go over here and crash, I'll reset the session marker. That's just how it works. Next up is unlock the shortcut to the canyon. I had done this a very long time ago. So all you have to do is to go to the career session, go to the forest, go to the boss jump, and just do that, do the boss jump challenge three times. So first it will be survive the boss jump, then it will be backflip the boss jump, and then it will be uh, 360 the boss jump so if I actually go there properly so all you have to do is genuinely go down here and hit the boss jump it's pretty simple it's they just want you to play the game because they know a lot of you don't play the game properly and just hit the bike parks and then you complain that you don't have any cool gear or whatever I know that sounds like a bit of a like I'm complaining about the community I'm not I'm just saying that's that they know that you're like this so they're trying to get you to play the game that they spent years working on. So yeah, all you have to do is literally 360 or whatever the boss jump. I went off to the side because I was trying to 360 it. But yeah, get over the boss jump, simple stuff. If you're struggling, because <clears throat> this is a, sometimes it's awkward. Sometimes you really can't make the jump. It's odd, I don't know why, but it's a thing. If you're struggling, legitimately, backflip here, land on the roof, don't obviously go off to the side. I'll actually do it. One sec. Give me five minutes to get this to work because it keeps launching me off to the side. Yeah, you know, legit. Land on the roof and then hop straight back off. Uh, you're more likely to, to survive. It's about as easy as that. And then you just get to the end. Easy mode. But that is everything covered for week two of the Grand Tour. I hope this helped. If you're struggling with anything, just either restart the game or just retry it. A lot of people are having issues. I'm not sure if this is just a bit buggy because it's new or there is just issues. I've I've had people comment on the first video and say that some of it doesn't work or some of the other ones later on don't work. I'm not sure why. Honestly, I don't actually know why it's like this, but that's just how it is. It might just have some teething problems that might get fixed in the future. If not, you're either doing it wrong that you need to be in career to get these to work rather than in your free ride or whatever, so you have infinite lives, you need to be in career to get these to work. That's probably the best way to just do it, is go into the career mode, and then you'll have a higher chance of it working, rather than doing it by a code or by doing it any, any other way. Do it through career. Trust me, you'll have a lot more fun, and you'll actually play the game a bit more. Yeah, but I hope you enjoyed. I hope this clears up how to do week two. 
And yeah, thank you very much for watching. Subscribe for more of this sort of stuff, and I'll see you a lot later. Goodbye.